Hey, this is Terrell Davis uh, with the Pike County Cooperative Extension Service in Murfreesboro, Arkansas with the University of Arkansas Division of Ag. Uh, I've done a video before on determining hay moisture by using a microwave. Today's a little different. I want to use this air fryer. Um, a couple of reasons. One, uh, number one, <laughs> is that uh, our microwave uh, cannot be taken out of the house and I do not want to smell up the house and have to hear that. Um, the other is I bought the wife a uh, new new air fryer, and so this one is at my disposal now. Um, and as you can tell, I've gone outside, and there's a reason for that. Um, I've always thought that uh, fre cut, fresh cut hay would make a wonderful candle, probably would. Um, however, the smell coming out of your microwave or your air fryer is not as good. So uh, basically, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I've got four samples to determine the moisture on for a demo. So I'm going to weigh out 100 grams um, in this bowl, and then I'm going to put that in my air fryer. Um, just some important steps in case I miss this later. So um, air fryer is kind of set with these holes in the bottom right of a pan. Um, this one is, is pretty good on the sides. I don't think it's going to get out on the sides. Um, but most air fryers also at the top of this unit um, has a burner and if this gra grass hits the burner it will catch on fire. So if you use an air fryer the most important thing that I've got to say is something has to go on top of this. Uh, pre preferably something similar to what the bottom is. Um, I just don't have that here at the house. So um, I am going to use just a piece of aluminum foil on top um, and then we're going to put it in. Uh, when we put it in we're going to set the temperature at 250 degrees and we're going to run it for 30 minutes and then we're going to weigh it again. So we started with 100. Let's just say that it's 80 um, and so 100 minus 80 is 20. Okay so it's going to be 20 percent moisture is what I'm going to have here. Okay. So we're going to kind of show you that process and put everything in um, and see how it all turns out. So when I, um, when I get on to this scale, I want to make sure to, uh, to tear it. So set it back at, uh, at zero, okay? Um, and I'm going to, to cut my forage up a little bit just to make it easier. Uh, so I actually have some scissors that you would use maybe with like uh, cutting up uh, chicken. Uh, I always called them my chicken scissors before, but um, anyway, it'll cut through bone. Surely it'll cut through grass. Uh, just to make it a little easier. I wouldn't make it super short uh, because then you have more of a chance of it flying around in the air fryer. Um, so. A lot of people have gotten used to uh, using air fryers these days, um, and and I hear a lot of opinions. I love it or I hate it or whatever. So uh, you may find that somebody didn't like their air fryer, and uh, it'd be something that you might be able to add out into the shop. It's a whole lot cheaper probably than a new microwave. Um, personally, I still kind of prefer my microwave method I used a couple of years ago. Uh, seems to, to be a little faster. Um, so uh, here is a little different. I'll just be honest with you. This one was uh, my lightest harvest in my plots. Uh, so I'm going to have to modify my, my math a little bit. Um, I've got 90 grams here. Okay. So I'll put my 90 grams in here. Try to get as much, uh, get everything that you had on the scale. Okay. And we'll put this aluminum foil around the edge. And then uh, again, we're going to stick it in the fryer at 250 for 30 minutes. Go. Okay. So uh, a few problems that I ran into when I ran this the first time, 
I had the solid piece of aluminum on top and that proved to be a mistake. So I ran this for 30 minutes. I came out here and I checked it and really not a whole lot had happened. So what I did was I took my pair of scissors and I poked me some holes on the top and I ran it for 15 more minutes and it, it did a whole lot better. Um, I fluffed it a little bit and ran it for another 15 and I think we're really pretty good right now. Uh, the difference is with this one you just kind of set it and let it go whereas the microwave I usually run about five minutes at a time and check and see how we're doing. So um, we've ran it. Um, again, I, I took my aluminum full and I put some holes in it. That really helped. The consistency that you're looking for here is kind of like what you would find out in the field. Okay, it, It's a little greener than that uh, because it hasn't had time to really cure. But as far as the weight and the moisture content, you're they're about the same place that you're going to be out in the pasture after a couple of days of curing okay so i have um zeroed out our bowl and i'm going to put all of our hay into our bowl remember to get uh, all that you possibly can uh, this scale is a really nice scale it was a really affordable scale at uh, walmart.com um, i ordered it and it shipped to me I, I didn't find it in my store but i could find it online and this one does um, like I may be getting the line here, but like 0 .001 uh, grams. Uh, I mean uh, pounds to an acre, so really good. So we've got 46. Our original uh, weight was, I, I believe, 90 grams, um, and so I told you we we're going to have to adjust this a little bit. So if it were 90 grams and it's 46 then that means that we have 44% moisture in our uh, hay at this, at this point. I just cut this today, so I expect a lot of moisture. Uh, but if you're out in the, the pasture, it's a really good thing to be able to know. Now, I'm gonna be honest, the rest of these, I've got three more samples to do. This took way too long for me uh, for this job. So I'll probably use my microwave method for the rest of them. But I can see how if you were uh, legit doing hay out in the pasture, then you could bring you a sample in at lunch um, and, and put it in this and, and eat lunch, go back and check it and weigh it, do your easy calculations, determine what your moisture is. Uh, I think the good thing about an air fryer is that you can kind of set it and leave it. You don't have to sit over it. Whereas in a microwave, I'm checking this like every five minutes and that takes a lot of time. Uh, so it has its place. Um, its place is not for my plot work today, uh, but I just kind of wanted to give you uh, an alternative to the microwave. It's it's very portable. I can see this being really handy out in the shop or like I did out on the back porch or whatever and not smell up the house. Uh, the wife will appreciate it greatly. So um, anyway, just an option that you might want to do, but the top covering is incredibly important. So put that to it. Uh, if you need any more information, visit us online at uaex.edu.